are back again with Gold Phoenix. We are batching these videos so y'all don't be like, hey, Gold Phoenix dirty. He wear that same shirt every time. Yo, <laughs> keep it simple, bro. I got a bunch of Walmart tees, some sweatpants and stuff like that. You know, I got a bunch of black ones, so I always look the same. It takes a lot of thinking out of my day, you know what I mean? Y'all gonna see Vape Juice because he's a fellow vapor. So we vape. So you're gonna see smoke. Get over it. We don't care how clear it is. Kill yourself. <laughs> First of all, what's the name of your channel? Gold Phoenix. Gold Phoenix, the That's same it. as his name all the time. Uh, uh, the only way you can get an interview with TB is to be on my Patreon for a period of time. That's how he's sitting here. He's in he's in um, lives that y'all don't get to see. He's in conversations y'all don't get to see. For sure. And now he's here now. First we did Phil, now we're doing Gold Phoenix. I'm trying to get Mando, I'm trying to get Trevor. Uh, who else should I do? Um, Shoot, I gotta get rich. Erica and a Patreon? Yeah, yeah. I gotta get Erica. Erica uh, who else? Faith. Faith. I gotta, I gotta get, get Faith. Faith. Uh, 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 a few of them. Anyway, this is not the question I want to ask you. What do you feel about the guys who buy their truck cash not liking the lease guys? Because you're a lease guy, correct? Yeah. People who buy their truck cash don't like the lease guys now am i making this up have you seen it i have plenty of times um so basically y'all ain't getting money like the dudes on their own truck and maybe not but we also don't have the responsibility that comes with a cash truck my truck ain't broke down in about a year and some change mm. this thing just stay running and well i got two hundred sixty thousand miles on it i'll have this one until march turn it in get something brand new it's expensive I will say that, but they gonna they gonna quote off jump. They gonna quote your uh your, your truck note. About a thousand dollars a week. This one's a thousand and two dollars a week. You know they going crazy in the comments right now. I'm sure they are, but you know if I had to spend a thousand to make two and three back, I don't care. Charge me. It's cool. So where do you think that comes from with the with the owner ops that that talk about y'all as lease? It's an ego thing, you know. It, in this industry, people right. people just tend to have like a, a, a macho thing about them where it's like, I have to be better than you. If I don't own my truck, the next thing is gonna be, well, I drive a Peterbilt, you know? Like, right. You know, or, or well, you know, I got a Freightliner, inner trash knoll. That's what I, that's what <laughs> I was <hearing. laughs> no, they did. When I got my truck, you talking about inner trash knoll. And, when that, did, I'm taking that, that you, is dope. When I first got my truck, that's all I was hearing. Yo, you always gonna be in the shop having air leaks not. I had some recalls fixed, I had a turbo blowout. Both those instances got fixed in the day I was back, still made two grand. Did you have to pay for it? No, warranty. And that's a lease, that's a new truck lease thing, warranty. What the heck am I stressed out about? I don't need to own the truck, I own my business. Mm. <laughs> that's the only thing that mattered to me. I own the business, I own the money and all the accounts, I own the credit, I own all that. What the heck I need a title for the truck for? Now, if in the future I come up on an opportunity that is very lucrative but requires me to buy a truck, I'll go down that route. But for now, at least it work out for me. You owning your truck or I pay cash don't make you no better. It just means you can be somewhat reckless. Because to me, if you're gonna put that much money, depending on how much you spend, I know I can't spend 150000 cash on his. Mm. If you're gonna put that much money into a single asset liability, yeah, really, it's a depreciating it dep liability. It depreciates, it could break down, it could cost you money, it could make you money, but at the same time, how long is it gonna take you to earn back the cash that you invested in it? My maintenance cost is low, fuel cost low. I spend maybe $600 a week in fuel. So yeah. this thing getting 10? Close to it sometimes. Most of the time about 8.3, but I don't run long distance most of the time. Recently, I have been like 1,000 miles here, 1,800 there, but most of the time, 400, 500. So why do you think it keeps coming up? Because it keeps coming up. They just need something to feel better about themselves. So is it you saying it's strictly an ego thing? It's just to say I'm better than you? I think so. Because realistically speaking, they're not really telling you how to do what it is that they're doing. If them cats are really getting big money, they're keeping secrets. And to me, you suck. Mm. You just suck. Why talk about what it is that you're doing when you could actually help somebody? I don't tell anyone to do what I do, but I'll explain to you why I do what I do. And right. if that works for you, try it. 
But they don't even give you that opportunity. No, they're saying you're not. A, you can't even call yourself an owner operator. No, I'm, I'm not. Shoot, I'm not real because I have a stick shift in here. I put it. In oh, you got an automatic too. Twelve <laughs> speed. I'm chilling, bro. Put it in cruise and just roll. Right bro. now, I want y'all to comment at the bottom on how y'all feel about automatics and the fact. First of all, don't hold your punches because more comments yeah. is better uh, SEO. Yeah, please, please. Comment. By all means. Because he he, he he really crapping on you on the rocks right now, yeah. dog. Uh, here's, a, here's, here's another one. Here's another one. This one's going to really upset him. I got super singles. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Never had a blowout, though. So... <laughs> Oh say? man! Now you know they're gonna say you a rookie, you young, you don't know no better. Maybe that's all true, but like I said in the last one, man, I come at this from a uh, perspective of learning. I'm always gaining knowledge, always trying to be better at what it is I'm doing. So you can tell me I don't know any better. I'll put it to you this way: we can learn something new in life every single day we're here. So do any of us really know anything? Message. He just, hey man, you just crapped on the whole owner op game. Now I gotta name this something salacious, like why owner oping is stupid. Or something. <laughs> <laughs> now remember, these words didn't come from Trucker Brown. This guy right here, his channel is is Gold Phoenix. He said it. Go to his channel and and, and leave the comments to help his SEO out. I am Gold Phoenix, aka the one and only Double O Savage, and I do approve this message. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> so that's why. Now, it, I've heard. Uh, who's the guy? Who's the guy name uh, that was getting on Willis? Who's the guy name? I think it was like Brandon, and he was like, you know, you're not really making it that mega carrier. You're only making eight thousand, but you're not talking about the node. And I bought my Columbia Cash, and he was just really going in on Willis, and I was like. Come on, man. If any one of you 22, 25 and down, any one of you 25 and down dudes are owner opting or leasing, you're winning. You're winning, bro. Mm -hmm. If you're able to pull 25, 35, 31, 18 a week, you're winning, bro. Now, what? Well, he's getting, he's seeing more because he doesn't have a car note. Dude, that's pennies in the long term because what you have over the old guys is time. You have time to mess up. You have time to blow your money and then make it back. Right. You have t your health is immaculate, so you're not worrying about insurance. Mm -hmm. You have hopefully you have no kids because Gold Phoenix ain't got no kids, mm -hmm. so you're just good to go. So really, y'all are really splitting hairs when it comes down to it. It, it, it starts becoming a one-up thing. Yeah, it's always got to be something. Always. Shoot, I could give me a Peterbilt Ultra Loft and a long nose guy going brag about how he's doing better. You got a Packer? Well, I got a coming. So what? Oh, no, don't, mountains, don't, man, you know don't, don't, don't open the Cummins door. Phil go get you. Hey, listen, Phil, nothing but respect for you. But, uh, you know, I got an A26 in my truck and it, it makes money. Uh, I ain't going what's, to... What's an A26? Packard? Navistar. Oh, you got the Navistar? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the nasty yeah. star, straight, bro. Straight international motor, bro. She's been bulletproof. Straight up. The last truck I was driving, the um, I had a... Well, not I had. I was driving my dad's. The 2018 Peterbilt, the 579, had a Packard in it. It ran immaculately, but after about 420,000, kept breaking out. But so you you dealing with new, so you ain't tripping about what's after 400,000 anyway. Mm -mm. But what do you say to them that's going to say, well, you're going to have to keep paying a note? I'm OTR. Okay. If I'm running 2,500, 3,000 miles a week up, down mountains, never know where I'm going next, all weather conditions or whatever. I don't mind paying the note in every cost, benefit, whatever type of analysis, profit and loss analysis. Right. That's what it is. Every analysis I've ever seen of someone who actually sat down, did the numbers, who's worth their weight, it's always cheaper to run something new. Listen, bro, Lowe has said it a hundred times. They call him Lisa Fleet and all that. He said it a hundred times. I want a new truck. I want a new truck. Mm -hmm. Who else said it? King D. Raj said, it. give me a new truck. Now, these people that we know to be successful. Why? How can we say that they're they're wrong? Now, I'm not going to say there's nothing wrong with it because I'm trying to stay out of this completely. I want all the heat to go to him. <laughs> I'm just saying there's more than one way to skin a cat. If you just got 50 grand laying around. Go ahead, you know, but if you don't, you can come in the game. Don't put no money down and be making money. 
Now, it starts getting murky when we say how long you should stay. Because I'm going to be honest, if I could do it over, I would do my whole term at Prime. All eight years. I don't blame you. The whole thing, I would never leave. And I would, and I guarantee you, if you did a profit and loss over the eight years, I would have made more money than somebody who was, who was not. Made and kept. Made and kept. And I would have just, like he said, 300,000 miles. I turned that sucker in. I would have had a new truck the whole time. And I would have never switched. Mm-hmm. I would have been, I would have known the pay scale better. I would have known right when I see a load, what was going on. I would have known the program better. I could have had an e-fund the whole eight to eight, eight years. Mm-hmm. You rocking your e-fund, right? Course. I would have had some mm, I would have had an E fund the whole year. Now one thing that he ain't doing, and he, I'm about to ask him why, he ain't training. Why you not training? Uh it's an integrity thing. I know I'm leaving a lot of money on the table by not doing it. But at the same time, they started bugging me about training when I was about what, nine months by myself. That's about right. And to me, it's like, yo, you can't ask me to train. You keeping me in this specific region. I don't know what I'm doing exactly, even though I've you know, never been late. Right. Never been late. No service failures. Uh, had a very minor accident about mm. two months solo. I- I'll get to that in a minute. But um, You just want to be better at what you're doing before you train before somebody. Before I teach somebody. Because to me, it's like, if I train you and you go out there and you suck or you flip over, you wreck the truck. I was your teacher, you know? So some of that responsibility, you might say it, it's on them, they did it, but right. I taught them. Right. So I, for me, it's hard for me not to take a certain level of responsibility for you making that mistake, you know? I just wanna make sure everything for me is ironed out first. Yeah, I was three and a half years before I ever trained. I was three and a half years. By then, I, I didn't have to think about any direction I was going or anything, I knew everything fluidly and then I, I was willing to do it but i didn't train before three and a half years i also didn't lease before three and a half years yeah i leased out the gate if some people are wired that way i just personally wasn't i felt i felt like if i don't even know how to do the job what do i need to semi own the equipment for exactly so i was like screw it i'm just gonna i'm just gonna and i felt more comfortable once i actually did it because it was like i know the job through and through the only thing that's different is the fact that this is a lease truck so now I don't got to worry about, oh, this is a mountain. I can't run it or something stupid like that. So yeah. you just got to be a little bit better about managing your money and understanding any mistake you make don't cost you. So I've learned that time and time again. How much is do your company pay you? 72% of line haul. No, no, no. I mean your company. Oh, my company. Yeah. So how much do you pay yourself? Me? Realistically, it depends. Sometimes I pay myself a little more. Most of the time it balances out right about... 500 every two weeks every two weeks you only get yourself 500 on i pay myself enough to pay my bills most of the other stuff i could do is a tax write-off so wow that's man, you're doing better than a lot of the cats i started with they was paying themselves 1600 dollars a week For what I, I just to do it like i had no responsibility <laughs> <laughs> just to say they're getting money like they were and they was they were getting big cars and you know, Range Rovers, and they were, they were, I mean, I blew a lot, I say I blew a lot of my money on uh, cameras, hotels, you know, there was some nefarious activities, you know, in there somewhere, yeah. but a lot of the times when I was single, you know, chicks like coming to the truck, so I didn't have to spend no money on that. They love the truck. They love the truck. Oh, that's the, the, the next truck. video we out. First of all, this is... Gold Phoenix, who says, if you are owner hopping, you're stupid. Look at his face. <laughs> Go to his channel. You're dumb. Gold Phoenix, how did he get an interview with TB? He's on the Patreon. If you're not on the Patreon, you're not in the running for an interview, buddy. Don't do drugs. You never know what state I'm going to pop up in. You never know. Yeah, I don't know where we at, do that. <laughs> No. Yeah, hey, hey, we out here. We out there in Missoula. Missoula. Yeah, Missoula. I could, I could be out here for some, 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 some random. I could be, could have been here talking to Navajo about training videos, and I seen his snap. It was like, where you at? Pull up. You're never safe. Don't do drugs. Follow the Patreon. Make sure you sub to the channel where we actually get into the real stuff. Next video. What did I say? Next video was gonna be. 
good question. I forgot. <laughs> I said, uh, you, 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 uh, uh, you said they love the truck. They love the truck. They love the truck. Why women love the 